Here's an example of how to use the compound angle formula. We're going to be using angles that aren't special angles. Here we go. I am told that sine A is equal to 3 fifths and that cos B is equal to 12 thirteenths. I'm told that the first angle, angle A, is in quadrant 1. And the second angle is also in quadrant 1. Now, I already know how to do this. If I know what sine and cos are, I can work out what cos and sine are. That's just through the Pythagorean relationship. Now, the problem will look like this. Find the sine of angle A plus angle B. I don't know what those angles are, but I do know how to find the sine of the sum of them. So there's my formula. So now it's just a matter of substituting and doing some calculating. So sine A is 3 fifths, so I just have to put a 3 fifths in there. Cos B is 12 thirteenths, and so I just have to put a 12 thirteenths, so that's 3 fifths times 12 thirteenths. Sine B is 5 thirteenths, so I just have to put a 5 thirteenths in there. And the cosine of A is 4 fifths, and so I just have to put a 4 fifths in there. Now I just have to do with some work with fractions, and I can find the sine of the sum of those two angles.